Hey y'all, welcome back to Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and I love to draw. Like I really love to draw. Like it's kind of my job. I draw every single day. And so hopefully, I think that's why you're here too. Oh good, well perfect. We, You like to draw, I like to draw. Let's have fun drawing together. Today we're gonna be drawing a little amphibian friend. You know what an amphibian is? Basically they're cold blooded, they like to spend time in water and on land. And this particular amphibian likes to do a lot of hopping. Did I give it away? Oh, how about this? Sometimes when you kiss them, they turn into princes. There you go. We are drawing a frog today. Now there's over 6,000 types of frogs, a whole lot of frogs. So we're just gonna have to do a kind of a generic frog, make sure that we get all the frog-like features, right? The big legs, the big eyes, and then it's your job to make these whatever kind of frog you want. So are you ready to draw this frog? Perfect, okay. Let's make sure we have everything we need to get started. We need a nice clean sheet of paper. Make sure then you have a pencil, preferably sharpened, and then you need to have an eraser of some type because we're gonna do a lot of erasing. Because what do we like to do? Sketch, we like to sketch before every single project because then we can figure out how things are laid out and composed on our page. After we do our sketching, we're gonna do some outlining. So you need a dark marker or a pen. And then at the very end, we're gonna do some coloring. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, let's get to our sketching first. Let's start with, yep, you know it. We're gonna start with an oval. So I have my sketchbook laid out horizontally or landscape is what we call it in the art world. You call it landscape, meaning it's sideways. And that's because I wanna have those big legs on the side that I want them to fit in this. But we're gonna start with the head first. So don't go too high to the top because we gotta put some big eyes in there. And we're gonna do a nice little oval shape right here in the middle. Um, luckily, when we're doing this, we're using a pencil so we can kind of repeat over different areas until we get it right. And then we're gonna do kind of like a U shape, not at the very edge, but kind of a little bit in, we're gonna do a U shape for the bottom of the frog, for the whole body of the frog, I should say. There we go. Little frog body, frog head. Then we got the arms. Let's do a little, I'm gonna do a little circle so I know where the arms go. They're gonna go right in this little corner right here. Just so I know where his little shoulders are. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and add my legs. Cause I really wanna see how these legs are gonna fit in the page. I'm gonna do a big curve right there. Big old frog legs. Oops, part of my eraser came off. All right, and I'm gonna do it on the same thing on this side. Bring it in, you have to go out a little bit. There we go, nice little, they almost look like little wings on them. <laughs> it's little frog legs out there. Before we keep doing the legs, let's do the eyes, cause those are a real important part with the frog. They have big old eyes. So we're gonna drop big circles up here, big as you want them. Just keep sketching that circle until it's the right size. Now, if you need something round like a cup or something that you can trace around, that's a good idea. Just so I know how hard circles can be to draw. Or if you have like a little compass or something. All right, we got the eyeballs on. Got his little winged legs out here. They have these big legs because they like to hop and not all of them, but most of them like to hop. And when they do, they have those big legs, they act like springs and they can shoot out. There's like type of frog called an African frog that can actually jump, you know, they're a little there, but it can jump 14 feet. That is so far for such a little guy. That's really impressive. So like I said, not all frogs jump, you know, some, there's one called like a wax tree frog. You'll have to look it up and it kind of just crawls around. It doesn't really jump. Okay, we're gonna do these big feet. Big feet, one, we're gonna do three toes. Two, three toes. And we'll do it on this side too. Do it kind of lightly, because we still have to put the arms on here. Go all the way out here, one, two, three toes. Hmm, those were less good. <laughs> but it's okay, I'll fix that up later. And then now we gotta do the arm. So now the arm, you can do like a little straight line down if you want. I'm gonna follow the body for the most part, but we'll probably draw over it out at the end. Um, and you can make it if he wants chubby arms or little skinny arms. You know what, I'm gonna run over it a little bit, but I'm gonna try to follow that body for the most part. You can even curve it out if you want. Kinda have it stop right here at the bottom of the body because that's where we're gonna start adding the hands. 
Maybe a little bit more. Actually, you know, we're going to draw a little bit more because we put these feet down so low. Okay, so now we're going to draw the hand. We're going to do one. These are smaller than the back feet. Two, three. We're going to do one, two, three. There we go. He's all perched sitting here. Maybe he's sitting on a lily pad or a leaf or a tree branch. You can add that in if you draw your frog a little smaller, which would be kind of cool. Uh, then let's do a line here to make sure we can see that the leg is bent, you know, kind of like bent over because these are really long legs. Let's do this. Do you all know what baby frogs look like? I'll give you a hint. They don't look like frogs. They look like little fish swimming around because they're tadpoles. They don't have their arms and legs and all that stuff. They kind of grow that as they get older. That's kind of a crazy thought. All right, so now let's draw maybe the mouth would be an important one. They have that nice big mouth because they like to catch food in there with their big long tongues. And then let's draw maybe some nostrils. That's the holes in your nose. They don't have an actual nose, so the little holes there will do. A little line right there, a little line right there. There we are, we're getting closer. Okay, now we gotta draw the pupils, the middle right there, and I'll give you a hint. When you're drawing eyes, like I always tell you, if you draw that pupil bigger, the black part in the middle of your eye, if you draw it bigger, it makes things look cuter and nicer. But also, if they're looking at you, if you have them centered, both centered exactly in the circles, they're kinda freaky. I don't know why. But you need to cross the eyes just a little bit, put the pupils both towards each other, just a little bit, and it'll look really cute. I don't know how that works, but I'll show you right now. I'll kinda draw the pupil right here. The big pupil in the middle, and another one over here. There we go. He's looking right at you, and he's looking pretty friendly. Now you can even add a little bit bigger smile if you want, if you want to put the, just even if you want to put a little smile in the middle, that's totally fine. Don't feel like you're stuck to whatever I'm drawing. You do whatever you want to do. So speaking of which, if you want to add spots on yours, and you want to do those outlined with your pen, which is the next part, then you may want to draw those on right now. If you don't, you just want to color it in and do all your textures or your, uh, your shapes and things on your frog with just your crayons or your markers or paints or whatever you want to do, go ahead and do that. Right now, I'm just going to draw some spots on here because I think I want to outline those with my marker. So I'll draw just a few little spots on there all over his skin. There's a lot of frogs that have spots on them. Lots of different shapes, colors, sizes, all sorts of different types of frogs. But speaking of their skin, they actually shed their skin. That means get rid of their skin and get new skin about once a week. Isn't that crazy? They would shed all of their skin, drop it off, and grow new skin every week. That'd be kind of, I bet your skin would feel really nice. <laughs> okay, so I think I got all my little spots. Oh, I want to do one more big spot right up here. Have you named your frog yet, by the way? I've named mine Flip. I think Flip's a good name for my frog. All right, Flip, let's put some lines down. We need to do some outlining. So get your dark marker or pen out, and we're gonna do the outlines. And this is where, again, you can make some changes if you want, and that's perfectly fine to do. All right, the scary part, drawing the circle eyes. The scariest part of all of this. Ooh, see, I kind of went in a little bit. Is that the end of the world that I made that little mistake right there? No, it's not. It is perfectly fine. You know what? I'm probably going to make several more mistakes as I'm drawing today. <laughs> and that's totally fine. Art's fun that way. You know, you can make lots of mistakes and you can either call it style, which you could do, or and you can just start over again. It's totally fine. You can start over. And if you and if it's not big enough like this, that's not big enough to start over. You just keep going. And uh, that just shows that you made this by hand. Imperfections just make it so that you can see the work that you put into it. If it was perfect, then it would be a computer doing it. And we're not computers. We like the look of it being hand drawn. Okay, so we got those pupils in there. Now let's do, instead of actually doing a curve, I feel like I kind of want to do just a flat line. So this is the artistic liberty that I'm going to take, my creative liberties here. I'm going to make that, that call. 
And I also, when I'm gonna go around here, I think I'm gonna put this mouth over top of the arm. So this is gonna be in front. So it doesn't matter if it goes over my arms a little bit. Great, okay, now let's do the mouth. There we are. Go up. The two little nostrils. It's the easiest part, right? There's those nostrils. <laughs> and then we do the arm right here. Now again, I'm gonna probably make the arm a little bit thicker, maybe a little bit chubbier in the arms. And I'll probably have them kind of come in like that. It's not exactly what I drew, but that's okay. Kind of have it go behind the, the head a little bit. Be a little bit fatter. There we go. I like the way that looks. Maybe you want a hand spread out a little bit more. You can do that. I'll do this. I'll spread mine out a little bit. I thought they were a little too close. So I got one, two, and three. <laughs> okay, that was kind of hard. One, two, and three. I feel like my marker's dying on me. I might have to get another marker here soon. Okay, now let's do those big back legs. While we're doing this, and I have a little bit of time <laughs> trying to get this right, what do you call a group of frogs? It's not a flock, that's birds. It's not a herd, that's cows. A group of frogs is called an army. I think that's kind of cool because they kind of have a camouflage, sometimes green and brown look to them, kind of like how the army has on their uniforms. That's kind of cool. Okay, now let's do these feet right over here. I'm gonna go all the way down. They got these big long toes. One, two. Oh my gosh, I'm stressed out about this last one. Three. Okay, good. <laughs> and then I'll draw that line so we can tell that their legs bent. That's what that line's for. Okay, we'll do the other side. Go all the way around. These look like big old wings off the side of this thing. Oh, we'll draw that line while we're at it. And then I'll draw these big long toes. Oh no, my marker's running out. And the third toe. <laughs> You'll notice that when I did the little point, I tried to I tried to find where the hand met, and I tried to end right there just to make it fit nicely. That's just me being kind of weird. That's how I like it. <laughs> and uh, I like to make sure things match up. It just looks kind of nicer to me. So, oh, we got to do the bottom of his little belly here. So we'll do a little U shape. Like that. Okay, so I'm gonna ink in these spots. I don't know if that's what you're gonna do. If you're just gonna color them, then don't worry about it. Right now, all you need to do is erase all of that pencil in here. Just erase all the pencil marks because if you're using things like a marker or anything like that, it'll show through and that's what I'm using. So I need to make sure I erase all of that stuff. So erase it and then go ahead and start coloring and that's really my favorite part. So I'll get coloring, you color, and we'll meet up right after. Does that sound good? Perfect, okay, I'll see you then. is all colored in. How did yours turn out? I'd love to see what you guys made. And the way you can do that is you can actually have your parents share your artwork on Instagram and then just tag us at Brave Kids Art Club. That way I get a chance to see it and potentially a lot of other people get to see it. And we like to show off our work because we're proud of what we do, right? Okay, so if we're so proud of it, we need to put our name on it because we own our work. I'm gonna put my name right here in the bottom right hand corner. And I am done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and drawing with me. This is a whole lot of fun. I hope you guys like how your frogs turned out. And make sure if you haven't already subscribed to subscribe because we do these Monday through Friday every single week and I don't want you to miss any of them. Oh, and I have one more fact that I wanna share with you about frogs that I try to look for a good time to talk about it during our drawing, but 
it's such a weird fact that just didn't, no, never came up. So the fact is, is that when sometimes when frogs are eating, when they, they'll blink and they'll push their eyeballs down in their head, which actually pushes the food down their throat. That's the weirdest, craziest fact I think I've ever read. But yeah, they'll blink and it pushes the food down their throat with their eyeballs. So I'll just leave you with that fun little fact. All right, thanks again. Always remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, that's right, be you. Alrighty, thanks so much, guys.